A fresh start, Amy got the win. I don't remember that for a long time. Just got a lot of minutes too. Did is yeah. it kind of play out how you thought yeah. it would? Or no, I did. I didn't think I played out like 37 or whatever it was, but you know they left me out there, so I had to produce. <laughs> I had to play it. Yeah. Down the stretch, you're, you're guarding the deal, uh, and Ryan just stuck with you the entire time. But were you expecting to come out at all at any point in time? And just what was that challenge like guarding him? Uh, I mean, he's a, he's a good player, obviously. It's a challenge, but you know, you put me on early in the game, so I knew I was going to probably stick with him the rest of the game if I did a good job on him. So I think I made a tough for him when I was, you know. What does knowing that Ryan has confidence in you to keep you out there for the entire fourth quarter and what's it going to do for you on the field? Well, that gives me a lot of confidence, obviously. You know, my teammates give me confidence, but to hear that from the coach and the coaching staff, you know, that's big for me. He was saying, Brian was saying that he spent a lot of time with you before he, while he was an assistant. Yeah. Did that kind of help build a rapport, I guess, and uh, yeah. understanding? Yeah, the definitely. He was, he was the assistant coach I talked to the most and worked out with, you know, most every day. So we already had a rapport. You know, he trusts me and trusts my work ethic. Mm -hmm. Derek was saying that you know, when he came back up a the last time, he, said he could sense and the rest of you could sense that you were a different player. What, what maybe clicked for you uh, coming back up here? I think it was just the experience and playing and just being around, you know, mid level guys back and forth, practicing here, playing down there. I think if I just clicked that last time. Was, were you nervous at all before the game or just excited about, you know, this opportunity? It, it was a little bit mostly just excitement, you know, to you know, start in the NBA is, you know, that's everybody's dream. So to finally have that happen, you know, it was big, it was huge. When, when Cat went out, um, the end of the game. How did you guys band together and sort of overcome that disappointment and then be a big shot to, to be able to outlast it in overtime? Yeah, and we stuck together. Um, we knew we were going to get out to get, get the win one way or another with Cat and not. Um, obviously, it's a big part of our team, but you know, Derek, you know, finished the game down the stretch. I mean, we have faith in each other out there. How do you keep your emotions in check? Uh, I'm a pretty calm guy in general, so I didn't have to keep it in check as much as some guys, but you know, I think I did better than most guys, like keeping my emotions in check. How tough is it to recompose as a team after someone on the other side hits a buzzer and send it to overtime? Well, it hurts for a little bit, but then you got to kind of recollect your thoughts and you know, try and win the next five minutes.